Buck has been barking for a little bit. I'm worried. Somebody might be out there. Ooh, let's go investigate. I think I'm gonna be as quiet as possible. I'm gonna just walk. I hear something going. Oh. Is that Jim's freight shaker? Yep. Oh, man. Them two are crazy. Let's sneak over here. I think... I see lights over here. No one should be over here. No one lives here right now. Looks almost like a beamer. Alright, I'm not taking a chance. I'm gonna call the cops this time around. Alright, I call the police. Alright, I, I see the lights. I see the lights. Uh, I see them. Uh, that, 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 that was your turn. Okay, there's the cop coming right there. Oh, 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 now, now he's leaving. Oh, wow, oh man, I got you. Oh, you spun out. Oh, oh, he's getting away. He's getting away. Oh, man. Oh. Get over here, I'm gonna cut you off. Oh, oh, oh man. Let's get to it. Oh, well, I guess it's time. Oh, man, I was up all night securing the farmyard. Whoever that is really has an interest in my farm. Because it's not a quid... It's not a uh, lost person this time around. You're, you're not lost twice. I'm pretty sure, even though both times it's been dark, you know where you're at. Uh, let's see. What uh, vehicle do I want to use? Everyone's getting on my case because I'm not driving the Toyota. It's primarily because my wife's been driving it around a lot, so I kind of leave it for her. I think I'm going to take the old trusty bow tie. Oh. Oh, guess what I almost forgot. Sorry, Buck. There you go, Buck. Where the heck are you, Buck? You didn't run away, are you? Buck. Dinner bell. Uh, I hope Buck did run away. He's my uh, watchdog, literally. And open up that gate. Yeah, I keep the farmyard locked down. We got crazies around this place. You probably are like, uh, you didn't uh, shut your Quonset doors. Yeah, that's because they're broken. Yep. Uh, I have to lock up everything like that. I mean, who really locks up an old, versatile, articulated tractor? Well, I do, because I do not trust the weirdo around here. Alright, today I'm going to go pick up some of our stuff that we purchased over there in the farm. I'm going to bring it over here. So I'm going to hook up to this trailer, pull it down there. And yeah, looks like i got to flip up the ramps here. And then hook that up. Alright, pulling the big trailer in here. Hopefully I can get majority of this stuff. I might have took that a little bit too sharp. But uh, hopefully I can get majority of this stuff on the trailer. So uh, I know it's going to be annoying for some of you out there, but I did sell some of these items. It is what it is. So I sold basically the dump truck in the 2510. All right, I'm just going to hook a chain to this and hopefully pull this thing out. Been wondering, it's kids around here or something? It sure seems like this trampoline is moving on me. What the heck is this thing? Is this like a haunted trampoline? You got the homeowner's spirit in you? I don't know what the heck is going on, but I don't know why this stuff is always laid out like that.
right, pulling this just nice and slow. All right, got that pulled out of the way there. All right, so undo this chain here. There we go. Now we get to try to get this uh, 2510 to turn over. So hopefully if I jump it over here and I brought some ether, this will work. I know a lot of you guys are upset that I'm selling this, but you know what? It's kind of a neighborly thing to do. Uh, this guy, he has a use for this tractor. He wants to use it just to mow around his yard. Oh, forgot to spray the ether. And uh, I don't really have a use for it, and he gave me a fairly good price. Oh, look at that. Fires up. All right. Let's get these jumper cables off here. And if you remember the dump truck we had running before, so I'm hoping that uh, that's good to go. So beans, uh, that 2510 is still over here. I plan on taking it over there and trying to pull out that boat because my wife's supposed to be here in a little bit. All right, so let's see if we can get this thing hitched up over here pull this out here make sure we don't hit a tree try to avoid as much brush as we possibly can uh, yep Ooh, a little bit close to that tree all right i'm gonna back this up in here so the neighbor is going to pick this all up right out of the shed here now, most likely I'll have to end up hauling it for him, but uh, he said he'd pick it up out of the shed, so. Alright, strap this down. Just got this loaded up. Probably uh, chain it down, actually. Get the cover on. Oh, here comes my wife. She's driving the good old diesel. <laughs> she parked it over there by the porta potty. She's gonna be so upset when she gets out that door. She has no idea what she's in for. All right, there goes my wife. Like a speed demon, she always is. Try to ease this old truck out of here. Now she's going slow. She was speeding by me right there. She must have just wanted to be up in front of me. Well, Falling right behind my wife here. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, you're going the wrong way. Uh, it's this way, babe. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to call her. Oh, looky there. Look who's showing up. Yeah. Now you're driving like a crazy lady. <laughs> like normal. Like normal couple of you uh, reminded me I have a building over here I haven't used and uh, I figured I better use it. What better place to put it, uh, my boat than right here? Let's take a look over here. So I did get all this stuff unloaded already in our new little barn. There we go. Our project lineup. I'm actually thinking I'm going to try to get this old Ford 600 to run. I don't know. I'm going to try. I just think it'd be nice because, of course, we got to put some bales. So you do notice that I didn't put any of the vehicles underneath the bales. I don't know if that support's going to hold it all or not, but uh, at least if them bales come down, some of this stuff, like my... Uh, AA model AA would be all right. all right so the hope is to actually get that uh, Ford 600 hooked up and hooked up to that trailer I know the Chevy's on it right now but uh, I just think the Ford the little dually will look good on it and it can take a little bit more weight that's a lot of bail weight once you get a few of them uh, stacked on there so park this up here in case my wife wants to use it all right I'm gonna give this thing one oh yeah 
There we go. I was going to say, it was running when I put it in here, so I got it to run. But uh, it wasn't running very good. I just needed to clean out the carburetor a little bit. Get this thing parked over here, and hopefully I can hitch up to this. There we go. Alright, so let's just take this down to our field. So you guys probably haven't even seen uh, a new uh, semi on the farm here. Not this one. This is uh, this is off of the old uh, barn purchase, but uh, oh yeah, this thing might look, work pretty nice. This might be a kind of a odds and ends little uh, truck for me. keep this over in this field here there we go now we'll park this once we get it oh yeah shuts off hard even got the air hook up to it now so we eat so I've actually been having some problems with my international here so uh, the dealership decided uh, they'd loan me this one just to a trial basis. So I don't know if I'm going to pick this up. I kind of liken this uh, KW here. The old Kenworth is worth its weight. But uh, I kind of like the looks of it. Uh, the Basically the International, I think it probably needs a uh, motor. It needs an overhaul because it's... It's starting to uh, miss on a few cylinders, so I'm, I'm a little worried about that. But here pretty soon, they're going to pick it up and uh, look at it. And I might just sell it to them and uh, end up purchasing this one. You know, you would think with this big of horns, it would sound louder than that. But it doesn't. So I haven't really found a use for this truck or had a use for it really until right now so uh, I think it'll work great we could stack you know probably about six long over here maybe about three wide or three high we're not taking it very far like literally you can see the top of the barn but uh, I think it worked nicely I think hopefully I can get all the bales on these two trucks here now we gotta get our big old loader all right, just got to go right underneath this tree here. Pick up our little uh, bale graffle here. Bale grabber, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hi. Hi there. Waving to you. You guys think that this uh, loader can lift three bales at once? I don't know, but we are going to find out. So... This is a big boy loader. Why not try to do big boy stuff? All right, here is the test. Oh, yeah. Lifts it up nicely. Oh, it's not too bad. I was a little bit worried our uh, hind end was getting to get a little light, but uh, don't think we're too light. Having kind of a hard time seeing right here. Not the easiest. Nope, yep. Hit the side of the truck there. Alright. I think that's good. I might push that one bale in just a hair. There we go. Oh man, I was hoping that I could get another six rolls, but that is not going to be possible. Probably only nine is the max for that truck. Unless I really want to take my time and do the, the last. Don't really want to split up these threes, beans. We're not going very far. Just don't think it's really adequate. There we go. When you lift it up higher, it's way easier to see. That's for sure. Hind end gets a little bit light. I don't want to get this too close to the truck because we got some lights there. Don't want to hit like that. Don't want to hit them lights just like we did. Did it anyways. Voila. All right. 
guys all know what time it is. It's the NF montage. Bitty push. Got some air pockets in between them. There we go. Ah. Push them up all nicely. I'm going to have to move this truck here a little bit. Uh, it's not the straightest, but it will do when we just got to go right across the trees. Oh, wow. Truck's starting up good now. All it needed is a little carburetor cleaning. Right. We're not going to strap them bales down because we're not going far. So I just want to get here on the other side. Ooh, wow, yep, yeah, we got a lot of bales still. There we go. I think this is right smack in the center of all of them. There's a lot more bales when you're here in the field. Let's see. Uh, I got five over there. I think I got four. Hopefully only four, so let's see, I got three, so five, four, nine. Ooh, that's going to be a high stack. Oh, well, and I got one random bale. Oh, buy him low some. Yeah, got to pick him up all by himself. What a huge inconvenience. I'll probably just leave this one bale until uh, I'm done with all the other bales stacking up, so... You know, let's go back to that montage. have chemistry 
I think this is the last well we got our straggler over there over there just wondering I'll probably just put him on our little lift here I'll probably just put him on our bail grabber pick him up I'm thinking uh, this bail to the side is gonna fall off so I might have to pick up two of them to be honest that's okay uh, I wanted the top to at least tie the stack together anyway, so I was trying to go one bale over. So I expect this one to the on the outside to fall off. Think it's gonna fall off? Ooh, maybe we need to give it a little nudge. I might end up regretting this, but. There we go. How did this one get off so much? This is like Lincoln Logs or something. How did you get out here? There we go. Push that one in. Alright, I better put the straps in before I get too crazy here. That thing is loaded. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to cut this in half because I don't really all I have to do is pick up one more bale here There we go Got one bale now we just have to go over here and get the other bales and we are good to go All right this is going to be a little bit of weight on the front of this loader, but we're going to get over here and start uh, putting these bales up in our hayloft. While, while I'm going by here, I better strap this girl down. I don't think I did as pretty as a job over here. Oh yeah. This old Ford is running good. Will it pull this old big trailer? Ooh, I better be nice and gentle. That thing is high. A lot of bales on it. Oh yeah, it's definitely heavy. It is pulling this thing all over the place. All right, so we are unloading over here onto our little uh, bale uh, e elevator uh, load. Shoot. I don't know exactly what that's called, but uh, it is basically the same thing as an auger, but it uh, does bales. So it runs them up there. It's you. It's a chain driven. So chain driven over there. You see Jim's still over there with his freight shaker. Man, I'll tell you what. 
I don't know, Jim's farm must be going haywire as much time as he spends over there with my cousin. Alright, pick them up. Then we just uh, go right over here. Put them right down there. There we go, got another load. So uh, this is uh, pretty quick. Get another. Do you think we could hold four bales? Let's try it. You know, I'm feeling froggy. Let's see if we can hold all four of these. Oh, oh, are we picking up five bales? We are picking up five bales right here. Guys, gotta see this. Ooh, wow, this is heavy. Woo! Feel like we're in a roller coaster here. Yeah, this is probably a little heavy for this loader. I'm gonna lower that down very slowly. I'm trying not to make this thing shake, but it is shaking all over the place. Probably shakes more than that freight shaker over there. Now, I think. Five is too much, so I'm gonna try to get four. I'm trying to get a better stab at this. I was a little bit too far over last time. Yeah, all four of them. Ooh, there's still a little light in the back end. Probably should have put some weights. We do got double weights on our tires right there, if you can see. So, we got plenty of weight. Ooh, wow. I guess I got three on top here. And I'm gonna have to try to grab five. I'm gonna have to try not to run over my four-wheeler, too. Or three-wheeler, sorry. Alright, these are our last four bales off that trailer. Unload them in. Ah, there we go. All done with the straw bales. Didn't even rain on them. I think it's supposed to rain here in a few hours. Got them all in here. Oh, let's go up here and look. Oh, we better shut this off first. Shut that off. All right. Now, I think it's semi-safe to climb up here. Look at all them bales. So they're all stacked up there nicely. There we go. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like the video. Catch you next time.